Hey everyone, Phil from 3DP UK. Quick tutorial on how to set up live stream using the Bamboo Studio and the OBS Studio. So first you want to want to download is the OBS Studio. You can get that from Google. And then open up your studio, Bamboo Studio. And this is the screen you'll see in the device section. What you want to do is you can choose between 720p or 1080p. But what we want to do is go live. So first, before you go live, you need to set up the live stream. So click the green play button, and that should set up the um, the actual camera on the, on the printer itself, and you'll see a live feed. Um, so click the icon, and you want to go live. It will ask you if you want to um, download some settings. Yes, you do. So click OK. It takes a few moments, so just give it some time. And once it's installed, that's gone into its configuration folder. Um, so what you'll need to do now is um, select to show live video guide. So what that'll do is then open up a Bamboo Wiki page and it will give you a step-by-step -step guide on how to set up your live feed, um, as it says here. As we're using the OBS um, system, just here, once you've downloaded that, of course, um, go back to the wiki page and scroll down. It will have a subsection saying OBS. That's what we're going to follow. This is a guide on how to set it up. Obviously, I thought I'd do this video because it helps with the visual side of it. So what we want to do is it asks you to open up Media Source. So click on the plus sign and click Media Source. And you can rename it. You can pretty much put whatever name you'd like. So for me, I'm going to put it as the Bamboo X1 live stream. And then obviously my YouTube channel, which is 3DP UK. And then just pre uh, click OK. Go back to the um, page to see what to do next. So as it says, uncheck local files, check box as OBS has a problem with reading this. So go back to the OBS system and you will see a check box at the top. Click that and it's, uh, it's now disappeared and changed the look. Next step is from the menu, show configurations folder. Now you can get this from the actual Bamboo Studio. So go back to Bamboo Studio, click on the downward arrow and click help and then click show configuration folder. Now what that will do and the reason why we do this is you want to use your username. Now write that down on a piece of paper unless you know it off by heart. This is quite important. Um, so. Once you've done that, you've written that down, you're going to choose input on the OBS. So as you can see, there's an input, input box. Uh, remembering that, now what it, you have two different options. So you have Windows, which is I'm, what I'm using today, um, or you could have a Mac, uh, sorry, a Mac even. Um, so it depends on what your system is, as to what um, actual file you'll use. For me, I'm using this. So you want to copy the whole link here, including the file, and copy that, and go back to the OBS system, and click in input, right click, and paste. Now you'll see that that's that whole link. Now the important part to remember was actually the configuration folder in the Bamboo, slot, in the Bamboo Studio, if you can remember. Now that's where as you can see, the username is in brackets. We want to delete that. That's just given a generic term, but we need it to be specific to our computer. So you go back to the help, configuration folder, and remembering that's your username, type it exactly as you see it. Go back to the OBS, and in those two, in between those two forward slashes, you're going to put your username. So for me, it's Phil M. And that should be right. So that will choose the correct path. Go back to here. Scroll down. So we've carried out all these actions. So we're happy with that. Is exactly what we've chosen. Keep going down. Now we need to set up the um, FFmpeg option. So go back to OBS. Scroll down. You will see at the very bottom of the page FFmpeg options. So it's quite simple this one. You don't need to do any changes to it. Um, you literally um, add in there. So go back to here on the help page. Copy and paste, or oh, sorry, copy protocol onwards. 
go back to the OBS system and in that box right click and paste it's as simple as that you want to check the wiki page make sure you're happy it says wait a minute it should show the picture on your OBS and click OK now it takes a few moments don't don't think that it's not working and we should see the live stream from our bamboo and as you can see now it will always show it as like a, a bigger box just shrink it down you can change it to however you want a live stream I like to go just a slightly smaller and then add some text around it it's kind of like add if you want to add anything to it scroll down and that's everything from the um, help page so go back to here now you can add some text like I said so today I'm just going to add that I'm doing like a test for this so nothing too um, over the top so just write in demo live stream for bamboo x1 and then 3dp uk and then select the font you can change the font and the size i always tend to go for about 30 to 40 um, click OK and OK again. You'll see it at the top. You can stretch it out and change the size using the drag boxes. So that's quite simple. And you can add other things like um, music and stuff like that. But you'd need to look on OBS um, tutorials for that. And as you can see, the live stream from the Bamboo Studio and the OBS is identical. Now click Start Streaming. And what you will need to do is once again use a tutorial. Um, and add your YouTube channel or any other broadcasting channel. Now, you click on Start Streaming, add a title. For me, I'm going to call it 3DP UK Bamboo Lab Demo. Um, choose it whether it's okay for kids. I'm just going to put yes because I'm only going to keep it up for a short while. You can add a thumbnail if you've created a thumbnail. And then you want to create broadcast and start streaming. Now, this has now sent through the system through and you'll see it's gone green and we are live on on YouTube now if I quickly type in my YouTube you will see now because I've already linked my YouTube channel so you'd need to look at the OBS setup for that and um, you will see that I'm now live you will also see all the artwork so the text that I've added and the live stream for the printer I can assure you this is live even though the actual printer heads not moving and I've showed a few streams so you can check that and my battery's running low on the laptop that's not good okay so that's it um hope this helps take care everyone feel from PDUK. uk